Hey guys, it's Dave again, back here in Dave's Dimension. Welcome back, or if this is your first time checking us out, uh, this is Dave's Dimension. Now, this channel's just about doing some reviews, checking out some cool uh, fandoms, whether it's Power Rangers, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, you name it, I'm going to try to review it, okay? Now, obviously you can see i got a, I got a few Proton Packs in the background. And I've got a few different collections, Ghostbusters, some Power Rangers, and that's actually what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to review the brand new Hasbro Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Power Morpher. Now, we're not just going to review it. We're actually going to do some comparisons today. I actually have a couple Morphers here. I have a Legacy... Green Ranger Power Morpher, and I also have Mighty Morphin Legacy Power Morpher. I keep it in a little shadow box here with some with some of the coins, and I even threw a little label on it in case of evil break glass. That's how I usually uh, store this. So today we're actually going to open this up, and we're going to open up the new Morpher. We're going to compare the two, give you guys a full breakdown. As far as sizing, functionality, weight, does it feel a little bit more durable? Does it feel a little bit less durable? We're going to take a look at those, okay? So let's start off with the boxing. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, now I myself have been a Power Rangers fan since, well, when it came out in the early uh, 90s. I have two brothers who are 9 and 10 years younger than I, so they're a little bit younger and they were into it as well. Now, I never had an original Morpher. Closest I got was the Legacy Morphers. And personally, I love them. They have a nice, good feel to it. Nice and balanced. You know, if you drop it, it's not going to fall apart because they are fairly heavy-duty. Metal shells on the front. Plastic on the back. They feel nice and durable. I mean, you don't feel like you're going to drop it feels like it could take some battle damage if you had to morph and fight some evil monsters. So let's check out the box here. Of course, a lot of the art is very similar to the Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Ranger action figures. You have that same kind of comic book feel to the design. Very nice for the box. I mean, it's pretty cool that they're throwing this. They're keeping a certain branding. But Hasbro's been doing that quite a lot lately. With the Hasbro uh, Plasma collection of Ghostbuster figures, you probably can't see them too well. I have them over on the top shelf that you'd see where Slimer is up there. They've done the same thing with their packaging. They keep a that khaki kind of look to the box, name tag at the bottom. They've kept that kind of branding. Very similar to how Power Rangers has been doing. So uh, it's nice that they have the graphics there. And as you can see, we have the Morpher, and they have a little color coding here for each coin, because supposedly, when you pop the coin in, it will give you the voice of that Ranger calling out their power coin, and you actually see that color lighting up. So instead of the standard red, So instead of just this ray, every time, you're going to see different ones. So that would be pretty interesting. And I like that they kind of gave us this little display case here. This little stand. So we're going to see how, how that stand is. Is it, is it nice? Is it durable? We'll see. Personally, I have thoughts about possibly modifying that myself. Now, what do I mean modify? I don't mean changing the shape or anything like that. What I actually mean is uh, maybe painting where each Power Ranger coin slot goes to reflect that color of Ranger. That's a little thought. I don't know. I might do that. I might not. So let's get to the unboxing. I'm opening up the box right now. Okay. Let's start off with the stand here. There's a little peg piece. I already popped it in. 
you can see that they gave a lot of detail here. I like that. And this is not flimsy. You can't really bend this. It's hollow on the inside. So that might be great if you want to maybe stow something underneath it. <clears throat> and you got detail even at the top here where you may not be looking. You have a lot of detail here. So that's kind of nice. You don't have anything particular right here. These are just de decorative grooves here for each coin to sit upon. And then, of course, you got the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger lightning bolt. Now, okay, we also have the holder for the Morpher. And this one's more of a matte finish. Seems more of a flat black kind of. And also notice there's a little indentation here. Now that's significant because <clears throat> here's the Legacy Morpher. It's a bit more shinier, a bit more reflective as you can see. You see kind of the screen reflecting right off of that. You don't see that here. You can see a kind of a light hitting it, but it's not as pronounced as you can see right here. You can actually see my camera reflecting back onto it. Okay. Also, there's no indentation here. Same number of screws, six screws here. Same belt clip. I actually think that they gave this indentation for the cosplayers. Now, as of late, Hasbro, when they've been releasing certain products, um, for example, the Star Wars lightsabers, or now with the Power Rangers lightning line, like the helmets and everything, they're making them with cosplay in mind. I've heard people talk about the uh, Red Ranger uh, visor that you can kind of see through it. I mean, from the outside in. That's not as dark, but of course, you know, that means that, you know, they're trying to reduce the obstruction of any view of anyone wearing it. So they're making stuff with cosplay in mind. Now, this makes me think that the little indentation here, that they did that so if you're in full Ranger outfit, what, however you buckle your Ranger belt, that this will slide on, but also it has some room for the buckle to kind of sit within so that it's not weighing down. And of course, also, we'll see how heavy the morpher is as opposed to the lightning morpher. So we see those subtle changes. And also, when I'm looking at these, the legacy is more kind of curved or concaved in there. This one's a bit more flat slightly concave in this direction but not in this direction so that's a little interesting also with the legacy you have these small little vents or louvers almost like and you have an indentation here they feel a little more pronounced on the lightning so those are two subtle changes right there guys now let's break out the points And I will say this right off the bat, these coins, they look like they were just forged by Ninja or himself. I mean, these coins look brand spanking new. Now in the back they have an image of a ranger, a ranger's helmet right there. So instead of the old, I'll break out the Dragon Sword coin right now. Now, the Legacy coins, they were given more of a faded wash as if they've been around for centuries and centuries. So that's a nice look. I like that. They, they gave them a natural patina. And by the way, if you heard Velcro, that's how I hold my Legacy coin in. Because the Legacy Morpher, it has, if you're not familiar with it, there's this button. This actually pushes in. So, if you're morphing, okay, if you're morphing, and you, your knuckles are hitting this, they're hitting that button. So your coin is likely to pop out. So what they would do is they would, the little Velcro holds it right in, okay? Now, Let's get this Morpher out. OK, 
Okay, so here we are. Lightning Morpher. Biggest thing I see right off the bat is we get the red button back here. Remember in the original show, they had the, the red button. So that's what we have here. That's great. However, this Morpher feels really light. Now I'm going to take the coin out of this one. Okay. Dragon Zord. Power coin right there. Right off the bat, this is way heavier. Legacy Morpher is way heavier because this is all plastic, guys. That's now you can see here, these are kind of wibbly wobbly, a little loose. I don't know if that's a quality control issue or if that's just how they are. These are all plastic, they're a lot lighter. So, good thing about the light, lighter feel to it is this one this set is $49.99 for this for the five coins and the lightning morpher so for $50 if this gets damaged or broken in a con you're not going to be crying tremendously over it okay and with it being plastic I'm sure there are 3d printed pieces that can be made to replace these now I have the Dragon Zord White Tiger Morpher, Legacy Morpher right here. I'm not going to use that to compare with this one right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crack open my Legacy Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Morpher. And we'll see what a big difference there are between the two. And also I did the Velcro thing with my Legacy coins so they stay in here without falling. That's a nice little uh, trick. 3M strips, they go. So here's my Legacy Morpher. Now, we're going to hold the two up together. Legacy Lightning. Two things you see right off the bat. One, this is more reflective, okay? I like this because of the heft, because of the weight to it. Because it doesn't feel like it's going to break. Okay? So no coin in here. Okay. They extend about... Actually, this is uh, almost identical. I have it pretty much neck to neck. The lightning opens up a little wider. But also... Look at the ring here, and now look at the ring here. This one's obviously a little smaller because the lettering's a little smaller, guys. Now, the big difference is the reflectiveness of the metal here, the cast of this. I mean, you could do a repaint on here and give it more of a matte look like this. This is how the Morphers looked in the TV show as far as the color. So the paint application is pretty good, and the lightness. Now, Remember I mentioned about that button on the back? There's no button here, guys. That's the that's the battery compartment. Okay? So, you don't have to worry about that. And, these coins have little, little notches. So, it's going to slide in and lock in place. So... With that being said, let's go into the coins. We'll, t we'll do one more thing. Tyrannosaurus. We're going to take a look at the two of them. Okay. Okay. That's Legacy. This is Lightning. Now this looks so nice and shiny and perfect. Now, the Legacy one, you got the old Power, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger logo. And again, on the back, you have a ranger's helmet. Now, the weight. Again, this feels heavier. The Legacy feels a little bit heftier. Now, the Lightning is more... You have more of an indentation here. They're about the same thickness, but this pushes in a little deeper. That may have to do with how the Morpher reads the coin, because each coin 
it's supposed to provide a different color. Okay, first I gotta open up the morpher. Gives you a little spectrum of colors there, guys. And you're just gonna put your coin in. There's grooves where it fits into. And once you have it in there, you kind of twist it in and it gives you the ranger color. You twist it out and it kind of powers down. So there we go. So we're gonna close it and just like you would, it's morphin' time. Now the lights still peek through the plastic, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, you got it because you want the lights and effects. So again, now that pretty much sounds like Austin St. John. So it looks like they got the they took the sound from the original Power Rangers. You get a little humming sound here. So let's try that again. A nice little hum. So let's take the coin out. A little power down sequence. Let's go tiny, let's see, pterodactyl. Kimberly's power coin. Are we going to get Amy Joe Johnson or someone else? Pink? That's Amy Joe Johnson right there. Again with the hum. Now, I'm going to check each coin here, guys, because I saw someone's video where they were having trouble with Billy. So we're going to go to his coin next. Okay. David Yost. Okay, so we're three for three so far. Let's go for Sabretooth. Trini. That's working. Last and definitely never least, Zach. Mastodon. They kind of give his colors kind of a mix of Kimberly with some white. So they kind of wanted to give it more of a purple. Mastodon. So. What do I think about this? <clears throat> I like that they have the different colors. Um, when it comes to when it comes to the use of it, I like this more for cosplay because, like I said, it gives them more of that matte kind of look to it. The one concern I have is with the plastic. I mean, we'll see how well it holds up over time. Now, there have been kits for the for these to replace the pieces if they break. So I'm sure, give enough time, the, there's going to be versions of this, and you have screws on the back there, so you can take these apart. Who knows? Maybe even uh, make a master morpher. Uh, but obviously, with the chip in here, it's only meant to read certain coins. So that's going to be the complication in it, guys. Um, ultimately, I really love this. I love the legacy. It's got that look to it. That heft. Now, as far as this, I mean, if you like more of the matte finish, I mean, you can definitely paint this. Tape it up and do a paint job on there. You can definitely do that. 
However, for $49.99, you're getting all five coins. You're getting the Morpher. It's got the red button, just like the original show did. This looks almost identical to the show. I mean, I would have liked this, maybe the lettering here, to be a little bit larger. Now, one more comparison of the coins. They are basically the same size, guys. It's just that some of the work in here, I think there might be some indentations in the coin itself here. I don't know if that how that may be how each one reads. That's a possibility. No, okay. Each coin has a different Ranger helmet in there. So somehow there's a reader right inside that is somehow picking up on that coin. It's like pressing a certain button on a toy and it's only doing one certain function. So it is detecting each one. So, I mean, I would have liked this to be, if it had to be a plastic like this, I would have liked something maybe a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit more durable. Can you hear that? Some shaking. Okay. Here's the legacy. There's some shake, but not as much. So those are the big differences, guys. Oh, and by the way, if you're picking up the Lightning Morpher, it requires three AAA batteries. That's three triple, triple, three, three triple A batteries, okay? And it's just, you open it up with a simple screw. Now, one more thing I forgot to mention, guys. Legacy has a power switch here. No power switch. Okay. So now we're going to put the coins in the stands with the morpher. And we'll say this the morpher holds into the belt holder a little bit better. I've had an issue where my green white ranger legacy sometimes has a hard time it's almost like a little flimsy sometimes but it stays in there so we got the stands there we go I'm just lining up the coins right now I will show you in just a second. I think they also did the tabs to help the coins sit in their slots here. That may be one, one thing. Then again, maybe not. Now if you just open up the morpher without a coin, See, it shows all the colors. I kind of like that. But another thing is this. On the old Morpher, you would turn on the power button. We'll give you the little communicator beep. I would have liked that on here. Um, here's one thing if Hasbro's listening, and I probably doubt they are, because let's face it, I'm still new at this, uh, is uh, it'd be great if they came up with a lightning communicator for us. Maybe, you know, a nice little lightning communicator, throw in a cheap uh, Bluetooth, uh, you know, Bluetooth adapter so you can sync it up to your cell phone, tablet, whatever kind of device you have. Nice and marketable, you know we'll buy it, guys. So, here's the stand. Got your coins right there. More for just... it. It's a little wibbly wobbly here. But, I mean, if you have this sitting on a shelf, it's a nice little display piece. So, what do you guys think? You like? Do you have a yay or a nay for this? Okay. Do you like it? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What are your thoughts on this? 
Now, like I said, it's got that finish. It's got that look just like the show because the coins in the show looked exactly like this. They had that pristine, brand new look and feel to it. Okay? So, as far as show accuracy, this is, this is pretty spot on, guys. Now, I'm going to see if I can do what I did on... Okay. So, with my legacies... What I've done in the past is I'll flip them around and you can use the belt holder as a stand, okay? Now, it locks in place. Oops. Most of the time it locks in place. See, I'm holding this by the morpher itself, right? It doesn't lock in place here. I try and push it in, it just doesn't. So the design differences, obviously. But again, if you're going for a cosplay, this is pretty good. If you have a younger Power Ranger fan, this is still good. I mean, you're getting all five coins. It's light plastic, so, you know, if they break it, I mean, you're not going to be, you know, flipping out. The coins are nice, good. They're decent quality. They're very good. Um, obviously, this is more geared towards the adult collectors. I mean, let's be perfectly honest. Uh, the nostalgia. But uh, I think for $49.99, this is a pretty good deal. When it comes to my preference, I really like the weights of these. Because, I mean, if you're going to morph, I mean... This has that feel to it. This has that, you know, that weight just gives you that surge, that feeling. And with this, you can do anything. This, the light plastic, that's my only, I mean, that's my only real gripe, guys, is the light plastic. I like that they made it so that you can put any coin in and it will reflect that, that Ranger's power and you hear their voice calling it out. So, definitely Hasbro has stepped it up. Um, Hasbro's been doing really good with some of their collectibles. Um, again, with the Ghostbusters, uh, they have a Spangler wand, which is representing the uh, Ghostbusters uh, Neutrona wand, or some people, if you don't know, um, basically it's the gun that connects to the pack that shoots the pr proton stream out. They have that coming out, but they've made that also where it's definitely to go with the cosplay. They made an adapter to go on it. They've thrown a lot of bells and whistles into it. It's supposed to be featuring the video game mode from Ghostbusters video game that came out uh, a while back. So, I mean, they're, Hasbro's taking steps forward. They're like, hey, this is going to be re this is going to be very cool collectible, but hey, those people that are actually going to use this for cosplay, let's throw something extra in here. So, instead of just having, you know, one coin or one or two coins they made it so that anyone can pop a coin in here and they could be that ranger so hey let's say you have a cousin a sister or a grandkid who uh, you know maybe them and their siblings want to do power rangers one is going to a con as, or to a party at some time they want to dress up they just have to pop into one coin and they're, the, they're that ranger automatically. They get the color when they pull, pull, you know, throw it out and use it. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Um, again, I mean, my opinion is I love the heavier, heavier morpher. But if I'm at a Comic-Con, the weight of this on a belt is probably going to weigh a little, a little heavy. You know, depending on your frame and size and how you have the belts positions so I like the fact that they gave us this little extra slot right here you see this indentation right here I like that that's it's a good idea so I'm kind of torn between these two I mean not for nothing I mean I'm gonna be keeping this and I'm gonna be keeping the other morphers I like how this is now if anyone's wondering can you interchange them Obviously, no. Because of the tabs on the ends here, this coin will not fit in. Okay? 
Now, if it wasn't for those tabs, it probably would fit in here, but you would just only be able to put a coin in, and that's all you get. You don't get the functionality like you have here. So, on the flip side, can we take a legacy coin and will it fit into this morpher? Let's see. Twist it, came out. Hypothetically speaking, it does fit in, okay? But it doesn't read the coin. That's the problem, okay? So it's not gonna be fully compatible. For a look only, yes you could. But let's be honest, when you stick the, when you put the coin in, I mean, this just gives you the original feel. I would have liked, like I said, uh, maybe a, a metal or a thicker plastic so it had a bit more weight to it, but also so when you close it, I mean, the lights, you can kind of see the light up here coming right through the plastic. But that's my only gripe, guys. Otherwise, it's spot on. So, tell me what you guys thought of this review. Are you yay or nay on these morpher? And also, do you like the Hasbro or do you like the Bandai Legacy? Which one is your jam, so to speak? Also, what thoughts do you have on what would you like to see in the future? Do you want Hasbro to go in order? So do you want them to do, um, maybe release a uh, Ninjetti version of this? Or do you want them to uh, do, do you want them to do a Green Ranger, White Ranger, more for in that same style? Hopefully maybe at a slightly lower price, who knows? Um, or do you want them to move forward and do we want to get some new uh, lightning zeo morphers do you want them to jump ahead maybe to turbo space spd time force rpm i mean literally the list goes on and on guys um i mean a lot of us i know there's a lot of fans out there who are like okay yes we love mighty morphin power rangers but that's as far as we are ever seeing as far as morphers and some of the collectible weapons I mean, I got my Dragon Dagger. I have a Legacy one. I just, I don't like the Hasbro Lightning one. It looks a bit cheap as far as some of the quality. Again, this one, you got a nice weight to it. There's a lot you can do with this, guys. I mean, it, this feels perfect for, for cosplay. You rock this, you feel like you're summoning the Dragon Sword. Um, you got the nice gold finish on here. With the new one that they have, that gold finish looks more of a mustardy kind of plastic. If you've seen the Lightning uh, Collection Goldar figure, that's kind of the color that they use for gold on the Lightning uh, Dragon Dagger. And also the uh, green inlay is translucent, which means it lights up. I'm not a big fan of that because that wasn't part of the show, perhaps? So, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be doing a review for that one. There's a few people out there who've already done reviews on that dagger. They even did a compare comparison with the original dagger, the uh, legacy and the lightning. So check those out. Now, I also have legacy Saba up there. Um, so I mean, it all depends on your preferences. You know, if, if you like that, it's great. But we'll see what happens as far as the weapons. I would like to see them jump ahead. I would like to see maybe a turbo, maybe a, I mean space. I always kind of like the space morphers. But honestly, I would like to see uh, maybe Dino Thunder. Uh, not Overdrive. RPM was okay. I mean, some of those morphers are cool. If Hasbro can get the licensing, because I mean, they have all the Power Rangers licensings. As far as I understand, I would like to see, since they're doing the Lord Draken, 
and the Ranger Slayer. I would like them to, man, I would love it if they could do the Master Morpher. You know, if you can do the Mighty Morpher Morpher, how about making us a Master Morpher so you, like, we can take all, you know, like, release a collection just like this, just like the Lightning, which is five coins. Give us a, a Tommy Master Morpher so that we could have Dragon Zord, White Ranger, Tiger Zord, Falcon Zord, maybe. If not that, just keep it with the Dragon Zord then. The Dragon and uh, White Tiger. And then give us Zeal Red. Maybe Turbo. Because he was the Red Turbo Ranger before TJ. And then give us the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. That's about five or six coins right there. Seven if you count Falcon Zord. I mean give us that i mean that's a very comparable set to this except you're doing uh gold finish on here gold plastic and just give us those coins it would be great i definitely think uh that there's plenty of interest for that maybe not as much as this but at least a good enough portion to do maybe a limited run see how it is do a pre-order see how how much interest if you you get if not you know you you know, it's just like they do the backing promotions, like they just did a Sentinel for X-Men. Check the interest. If they you get enough backing, then you can do the run on them. If not, you know, you don't. It's just a thought, guys. So, that's my thoughts and opinions on the Morphers. So, what did you guys think? Is there something new that Hasbro has coming out that you want me to check out? You heard me mention about Ghostbusters. I am getting... <laughs> not one, but two wands <laughs> of the Spangler wand. Um, there's supposed to be rumors has have it that there's a lot of modding that can be done on, on these wands. So I will be doing a video on that. Um, as far as some of the new lightning figures that are coming out, I don't have a whole lot of interest in them. I mean, they're coming up with a second gold dar, and they're not improving the paint on it. In fact, some video I saw today, uh, the paint he looked even worse. The only one in the next wave that I have an interest in is Zeo Tommy. That's it. That's it. Because, uh, honestly, Tommy's always been my favorite Ranger of all time. So, I'm still yet to get a green Lightning Ranger, but we'll see what happens. Um, so, that's it for right now. I am actually thinking about getting the Red Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Um, he looks pretty good, pretty solid. I recently got the Red Time Force, Wes, from Time Force. Um, I have a few pieces, not too many, but uh, it's it's growing, and hopefully, along with this channel, it's growing. So, until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying, if you like this video, again, subscribe, hit that bell. If you have a suggestion for me, you, you think maybe, hey, should I try doing this, doing that, you have any critique on my video making? I mean, like I said, I'm a new person here. I've done a number of videos, and I'm hoping as I'm going that these are becoming a little bit better. Maybe, maybe not. If you have an opinion, drop it below. Are there any movies or TV shows that you'd like me to take a look at? Um, if you've watched some of my videos, you might have heard me mention I'm having surgery soon. Uh, while I'm recovering, I'm going to be uh, re-watching uh, The Real Ghostbusters. Uh, the original, uh, well, I can't say the original, but uh, the real Ghostbusters from back in the 80s. Uh, so I'm going to be re-watching them, and maybe I'll do a few uh, videos, uh, kind of giving some reviews. Have a retro review uh, throwback. So let me know what you guys think. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension. Ah, I can't talk straight today, guys. This is Dave from Dave's Dimension. And until next time, keep on busting, and we'll catch you on the flip side.